what is IT and what is OT, information technology and operational technology. We see these phrases banded about quite a lot. So let's get at the definition out of the way quickly. Information technology, most people understand this. This is the, the computers, the networking equipment, the IP-based uh, sort of telephones that you use. All of your standard enterprise kind of technology stuff that you would use for your day-to-day -day operation um, and sort of your business information. When we start to get into operational technology, we start to get a little bit more uh, confused sometimes in exactly what that covers. Uh, and, and operational technology covers a, covers a massive range of things. So it can be industrial control systems, sort of like process, energy, chemical systems. So if we've got there, we've got sort of the, uh, the oil rig up there, huge amount of different um, control systems on there. And this can range from uh, your safety instrumentation systems and your distributed control systems, all the way to your fire and uh, fire suppression systems. So it's quite a range of equipment that you'll have on there. In the automotive and transportation worlds, you have sort of like the safety systems that are built into, into all of this. Um, basically anything that would have that physical impact in the world. Healthcare as well, great example for this one. And I'll come on to some of the, uh, the issues that healthcare have had uh, as well uh, later on in the presentation. We also have the Internet of Things, which is this massive um, sort of like growth area. Uh, a lot of things are becoming smart or connected to the Internet. And um, it surprises a lot of people to, to realize that these are actually considered to be operational technology as well. In a large section of the Internet of Things uh, agreement and domain, uh, there are a lot of products out there that do have direct physical impact on people. Basic definition. With operational technology, generally speaking, if it goes wrong, uh, it has a direct real-world physical consequence. Uh, and again, this can put individuals at risk of harm. 